Hi, my name is Miranda Bick. This is my show. It's called Mother May I, and we're at Sew and Taylor. This piece is called Birth in the Gold of Sunshine. I guess it started with my obsession of shiny bugs, beautiful things. I kind of pieced it together after I took a photo of like this passion flower at my mom's garden. But this one's super personal to me. A lot of the paintings tell little stories about my life and experiences or dreams, aspects of my family, people I'm close to. My grandma had them in her garden, so they're very like nostalgic and personal to me. Obviously, there's like a slightly surrealist aspect to it. Aspects of it are a little straightforward to me, like this just represents birth and life. The flower obviously has erotic references, so it represents femininity, birth, life. I always add water drops to everything because I feel like those hold so much in them. I think of them as like tiny universes. The details are so good. How many layers is this? Layering is like the most important part of the paintings. Um, I'll do one layer, let it dry, come back to another layer. Five or six, I obviously like start with the background. I start with the blue and I'll do the clouds and then I just add the shiny parts of the bug come at the very end because obviously everything has to be super dry. Um, but layering and like getting the highlights and the details, that's my favorite part. This is the painting that I actually started adding insects. So this one obviously is super layered. I started with like the background image of the figure laying down and then I added the plants and the eyes and the dewdrops. So this one's super layered. And then the ants kind of came at the end. And I feel like ants, when they're, you know, marching or around a human figure, you kind of think about death because ants feed on things, but that's not necessarily what it is. I feel like to me, the figure is just like resting. This painting for me was sort of cathartic to make. I use myself as a reference and she's kind of like sleeping, resting peacefully. This one I think is probably my favorite. I had the most fun painting this one. One of the biggest ones and I used like a super big brush to do it. So I felt really like free painting it. I like loved painting the eyes on this one. Painting eyes, it's really difficult to get like the luminosity and the like transparencies and the reflections. It's challenging, but it's so fun to paint. Tell us about the name of the show. So it's called Mother May I, and it's a game, it's a children's game that I used to play when I was little with my grandmother. I struggled finding a name for the show for a really long time because I wanted it to be personal and meaningful, but kind of just like simple. I didn't want people to have a lot of like preconceived notions before they saw the paintings. I think kind of comes like full circle for me because a lot of the paintings are personal. A lot of them come from a place of childhood, nostalgia. And I think a lot of the paintings deal with cycles of life and death and rebirth and nature.